What's up YouTube? So we are deep, deep, deep in the Civil War between Carol Danvers and Iron Man. It is heating up based on the last Inhumans issue. So this will contain spoilers for all of the issues cut so far in Civil War 2. And well, as I'm going to be discussing, what will the Marvel Universe look like after the war? Well... There will be spoilers for the upcoming issues in the autumn or the fall, if you're in America as well. So if you don't want any spoilers based on that, then then come back uh, when when you've watched when you've read them all, and then you know chill out, chillax, and come back. So, well, what will the Marvel universe look like after the ashes have fallen for the war? So, based on previous issues and also confirmation, we know that Bruce Banner is possibly going to go completely mad and kill Iron Man and quite a few people. So, in the upcoming solicitations, the info of where the Marvel Universe will be, Iron Man is nowhere to be found. So, we know that Bruce Banner will possibly get his power back somehow and kill Iron Man and... We're not sure what will happen to Iron Man after the fact. Will he become a villain? Will he just disappear like Planet Hulk? We're not sure, but we do know that Tony Stark will fall. So another thing post-Civil War is the fact that we know that Thor Odinson is coming back. So we've had a few weeks of teasers for the new Marvel Now. Now Marvel Now was a kind of revamp of the lines in really after the Avengers vs. X-Men storyline, which I thought was utter shit. But that's besides the point. So we've got Jane Foster flying around, being all Thor with the hammer. So here he is holding an axe, or quite a big axe at that as well. So I expect that Jane Foster will stay with the Thor's hammer for quite a while. Really enjoying the current run, the post-Secret Awards run, which is a lot of fun to read and is, is really good, to be honest. I really enjoy it, and you should check it out if you haven't read it. So it's not clear what will be happening, but or will he have an impact in the later issues of Civil War 2? So we will also be getting a brand new super team, which is pretty much a compromise formation of the new Avengers, with Sunspot leading here, now he's obviously bought AIM, and it, now that is Avengers Idea Mechanics as well. So he's putting together a brand new team, and it's been said that this new team, the US Avengers, which just, it just looks ridiculous to be honest, <laughs> which I guess is the point, that they will be going after threats that S.H.I.E.L.D. will normally do. So they are kind of a replacement for S.H.I.E.L.D., post-Civil War 2, considering what S.H.I.E.L.D. have done with Pleasant Hills and Maria Hill just going on and doing whatever the hell she wants. So they're going to be having a government office as well in Washington, and they're pretty much going after just all the craziness. And it's See, I'm not really a big fan of the New Avengers book. I'm not a fan of Squirrel Girl. I don't really find her funny, personally. I know other people do. And I'm happy that they get to enjoy their character in a brand new, really cool, new, interesting storyline and over-the-top funness. But I guess it's not for me. I'll pick up the first issue and see what it's like. So, S.H.I.E.L.D. are pretty much fragmented at the moment. So, with the Marvel Universe as a whole, we have a brand new image here showing Fall 2016. And it will be the Divided We Stand storyline running out of Civil War 2. So you can see here, there are quite a lot of people who are completely missing. As you'll notice, you'll see the brand new Victor Von Doom at the front there with Iron Man's mask, who has been helping out Tony Stark, but you just you just know that he's not trustworthy. He's got his brand new face, and uh, yeah, it looks like he's possibly maybe implicit in his downfall, or he's stolen his mask as well there. So Peter Parker isn't here. You've got Jane Foster, who's not in this image as well. And you can see the ridge here between the two sides. 
So you've got the younger side on the right, as you can see. You've got, obviously, you've got Miss Marvel. You've got Squirrel Girl. And you've got Miles Morales here. So will he be the proper, the just the only Spider-Man in Marvel titles? So we've got, obviously, Nova, Miss Marvel, and Miles Morales are quitting the Avengers. The Avengers are splitting up after the cataclysmic events of Civil War II. Now, what I expect is possibly we will see kind of more fallout of Secret Wars. And what would be interesting is that will Doctor Doom remember what happened in the Secret Wars? And I'm kind of hoping he does, because I don't like the idea of the Secret Wars was completely forgotten about. I just really don't like that when events are just completely just disregarded and just the fallout is dealt with. So, yeah, this is pretty much the Marvel Universe as it will stand after Civil War 2. And I'm excited to see where Civil War 2 is going. I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm loving it. And it's a great time for comics right now with DC Rebirth crushing it. Every single issue just really doing well. Civil War 2, the Inhumans as well as the X-Men. I hope that the Inhumans and the X-Men get kind of on a, on a similar footing and the Terrigan Mists maybe go and that the Terrigenesis is done in a different way. Maybe. Because I am a big X-Men nerd and I really, really hope that they kind of bring the X-Men back together in all this timeline and Omega shit. I just, just don't like it personally. But that's me. That's been me. So drop a like and a subscribe if you've enjoyed this and want to see more. And also comment below with your opinions. And I'll see you soon and goodbye.